Hey guys and girls and welcome to another episode of Cook Shed, a YouTube channel where we discuss everything to do with surfing and bodyboarding uh, and share some tips and techniques and little tricks I've learned along the way that might help uh, beginners and experienced uh, surfers alike uh, enjoy surfing a little bit more and that's what it's all about. So today uh, I'm going to show you how to set up a little surfboard rack. Now there's many different types of surfboard racks. This type is the one where you can set it up to work on your surfboard. Uh, it's not a display rack per se. The ones that have uh, lots of different boards stacked vertically or horizontally. This is a uh, working stand to work on your surfboard. Surfboards from time to time they might need their wax cleaned off or um, you might be applying a deck pad, a tail, tail pad for grip. Uh, you might be repairing a ding or a crack or anything like that. And so for those uh, occasions a surfboard rack is a very handy piece of gear. Uh, if you've ever tried to repair a ding on a surfboard on the ground or on the grass or something like that it, you'll know that it's it's a pretty tricky uh, process. So I recommend uh, getting some sort of a stand uh, rack that you can stand your surfboard on, get it up off the ground, so lay your surfboard on, get it up off the ground and um, it allows you to work on your, your board much more easily. Okay, so uh, you can build your own out of wood, you can, you can buy one, as well, there are specific surfboard stands. Um, some surf shops have them as display stands, things like that. Uh, but I find anything in the surfing industry, uh, like a rack or something that you can get elsewhere, it's usually more expensive because it might have a brand on it or something like that. So uh, it can be more cost effective to source your own instead of just going out and buying one straight up. So this is a little half and half, this one. I've gone and bought a uh, keyboard stand. So basically, this, they basically do the same thing. They're the same height, uh, they're adjustable, and um, you can pick them up at garage sales for pretty cheap. Uh, Aldi sometimes have them on sale. But yeah, see, I've been looking for a keyboard stand and I finally found one, and I've just made some modifications to it to allow me to put my surfboard on top. So it's, yeah, it's got a little adjustable lever. Right. So I've got my stand set up. I've got it standing on the ground uh, and it's set at a height that I can work on. And all I've done to make this uh, surfboard friendly is I've gone and got, I've gone and got some industrial foam industrial padding of some sort. I got this from a um, building site uh, in the scrap pile of the building site. It's, uh, it's a type of uh, foam that's used to uh, keep water out of certain areas uh, underneath roofing. So it's just an offcut they've thrown out and I've grabbed it and um, basically I've just cut two strips um, at the length roughly of the of the keyboard stand brackets on the top and I've just got some some tape this is like really thick black electrical tape really wide sorry and I've just yeah wrapped it around a couple of times so what that's done is it's given me a nice soft uh, surface on top of the bracket on top of the rack so that it's not going to damage the surfboard at all. Um, I've seen other racks, people will get um, shirts or rags and wrap them around the top, the top uh, bars and then might just chuck a bit of duct tape around them or something. Um, I just wanted this one to look a little bit tidier and just be a bit more uniform in the thickness but you just basically need to make sure that the top bar that the surfboard is going to be resting on is uh, not going to damage the board so I advise putting as much padding around it as possible you could get an old um, an old pillow like one of those uh, memory foam pillows you could cut one of those up and get a bit of put a bit of um, 
padding around and then just tape it on. Uh, totally up to you. So this is what I've found seems to work. Gets the board up nice and high and I can work on it. Um, but by all means, if you've got a cool surfboard rack um, that you use to work on your boards, um, comment below, tell me about it, tell me how you made it. Um, by all means, I'm, I'm interested to, to hear other people's opinions. One thing I will say about this style rack is, one, make sure that it's locked in. This one has, a, has an adjustable uh, tab here, so make sure that, that it's locked in at the height that you want and that it's not going to drop further once the board's on it. And also, this is quite a narrow area to support a large board, so just make sure that it's standing wide enough apart so that it will support the board when you're leaning on, on the ends. So if you're working on a tail pad up this end, you want it to be wide enough so that the board's not going to rock when you're pushing on it, putting weight on it here. Or you might have to slide the board up a bit so that you can work on it without it tilting uh, and causing possible damage by falling off. Okay, right, so that's it. Uh, just a basic, quick video on how to create your own uh, surfboard workstation rack so that you can work on your boards, clean the wax, I'll put wax on, uh, fix dings, put on tail pads, nose guards, whatever, stickers, it's just a handy platform that's going to get your board up out of the way of other things and allow you to get the job done. Like I said, this is just some foam offcuts that I found at a building site. You can use anything that you think might protect your board, uh, pool noodles, anything like that, just as long as they're covering the uh, support bars that you're going to rest your board on. And I think you should be right after that. So yeah, let me know if this video was helpful to you below in the comments. Uh, hit like if it was helpful or if you liked it. Um, yeah, just let me know what you think. I'm, I'm happy to look through the comments and, and reply when I can. So yeah, thanks for dropping in guys and girls. I'll see you next time on Cook Shed.